even small things like you used to put your YouTube shorts also. You used to discuss MCQs. Even those helped me. And I think one or two questions were right from that. Speed question bank and those mock tests really, really helped me out. I think they are they are pretty close to the norm. The INSS. That's what I felt. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings from uh, all the behalf of all the faculty members to Doctor uh, Sampada Wankede for. Scoring IML rank of 12 and CML rank of 16 uh, in INI SS October 2024 in the specialty of MCH neurosurgery. Congratulations and best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Sir. Great to have you in the session today morning. And uh, we wish to know your yes, detailed background of where you started your career from till date, what are you have done? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so, sir, uh, I've so I have completed my MS, uh, my undergraduate from KM Hospital, my MS in general surgery from Nair Hospital in Mumbai. And I've been working as a senior resident since two years. We have a undergraduate and postgraduate bond to, com to complete. And uh, I started preparing, uh, uh, I, I actually had started reading Greenberg and making note, my own notes from it uh, since past one and a half year. And uh, actually, so I had given this attempt uh, of uh, April session, but uh, I, I cleared it also. But then I thought I would give a I took a calculated risk so that I get a better college and took it took a chance one more time. Uh, and so I think apart from uh, what I realized is what I realized is apart from just reading and going through the textbooks and your notes, what is important is to solve questions from anywhere you can and i think speed question bank and uh, those mock tests really really helped me out i think they are, they are pretty close to the the ini test that's what i felt and uh, it was really helpful i mean i think i have recommended it to many of my juniors who have asked me how to prepare great doctor can we know why is the interest for neurosurgery uh, so, so I think I have always been drawn to this. Um, I mean, I have had people counsel me out of neurosurgery saying it's a very heavy branch and all that. But I think I'm up for it. I, 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 it's, it's all about if you're passionate about something, even when you're reading it or even when you're attending an emergency case. So uh, we here in, at my hospital, we are not posted in neurosurgery, but we get to attend all the emergency neurosurgery cases. So uh, I remember even when I was in first year, in spite of being that, uh, you know, uh, very busy at 4 a.m., I would go and attend the emergency neurosurgery case, at least stand there as much as I can. And so it's all about the passion. If you like the field so much, I think that's the reason I re-attempted and went for it. Great. Doctor, can we know what all things you did for preparation? I mean, uh, where, when did you start and how many hours did you spend? And can you tell something on your preparation strategies? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, so uh, yeah, I had my, first thing is I had my own notes prepared. So, I did not have to struggle last minute if I have to read from whichever book. Uh, so, uh, secondly, every, I used to make sure that every day, at least I spend time solving 100 MCQs from neurosurgery, not from general surgery. General surgery part I started a bit later, uh, but neurosurgery, I used to make sure that if not 100, at least 60 questions I will solve every day. And then for rest 40 from general surgery, this happened just uh, two months before exam. But before that, I would make sure that at least, I, you know, because, and at the same time when the exam is scheduled, so I would solve my MCQs from 10.30 to 12 o'clock. So my brain gets used to that habit you know of solving mcq so that was i think that is something which really helps because uh, if even if you don't know something it's important to rule out answers and come to the uh, you, you know come to your solution so that was something which really helped me and whatever you're reading unless and until you're challenged by an mcq the, your knowledge is challenged it would not register in your brain so i think solving mcq is very important and uh, so even even small small things like you used to put uh, your YouTube shorts also you used to discuss MCQs even those helped me and I think one or two questions were right from that uh, <laughs> so so from so gather knowledge from wherever you can but uh, there should be the strategy should be that your ultimately exam is MCQ so you should be habituated to solving MCQ is what I feel. And uh, and because knowledge is everywhere, it's it's all in the books. So we need to get into that habit. 
now uh, can you can you tell us for a student who is aspiring for a neurosurgery mch what will be your advice uh, so first of all uh, preparing new, i i would say i would say if somebody is starting from scratch they can start with uh, the videos make their own notes that is very important and keep solving mcq as the exam nears because that is how it goes and do not underestimate general surgery because everyone studies neurosurgery general surgery is scoring so uh, even if we don't do it in much detail but we have to touch each and every topic from general surgery that's what i felt that uh, general surgery increases your score that's the one which decides if you are going to qualify or not great doctor now time to thank whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to thank all the people who have made your career till date so first of all i would i would really like to thank my teachers and parents who have supported me throughout because uh, it was a very hard decision to uh, you know take a call on repeating for the exam again in spite of clearing it in the previous session and uh, so th they were all uh, for it and all the teachers from uh, speed and in uh, and, and everyone who have who has uh, put in efforts to you know make those mcq so accurate i mean hats off to them and all my friends and colleagues who have been because i used to study in the library so so it was uh, i used to go there at around 9 930 and i used to come back at 11 o'clock at night so you need that dedicated effort at least for last uh, two months you need that much dedication so even if anybody has not studied something i think for last two months forget everything i i was not working for the last two months uh, before the exam so i had taken leave i had left my uh, sr ship uh, board and i was just studying for the last two i think that much dedication is required for the exam so uh, so all my colleagues who were studying with me and it makes it more uh, you know uh, healthy competition is there when you have your friends studying along with you so yeah i would like to thank all of them great doctor once again we wish you all the best and all the success for a great career you, in mch neurosurgery thank keep you, going keep inspiring always Yes, thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.